This video is not for persons under the age of 13. By watching this video, you are declaring that you are above 13 years of age. Hello and welcome to today's video. A short auto on how we're going to turn a brush like this, which is a blending brush or something like that into a brush like this which has a rake in it so we'll see how that's done these are examples of fan brushes or blending brushes as they're sometimes called and they can be used for various things this one's uh, very firm and it um, it's used for heavy bodied oils. This is a watercolour one. And these two can be used for uh, most, although they are quite light in the air firmness. Now this one, uh, which is a purchased one, already has a kind of raking in it. Or what, what is raking? Let me just put these to one side and we'll show you what what raking is uh, these are examples of various different types of rakes they have other names as well uh, here's a filbert that has had the top part of it taken out and it has a, a bit of a rake at the end of it those little strands sticking out this one's a bit more deliberate and um, cut out so you get a more exact set of lines and as I've just shown you this one is a fan brush that has raking in it and little bits took out of it so that's what we're going to attempt to do something a bit like that but not exactly so I'll show you what I've actually done before we make any far uh, progress and uh, once I've shown you the technique for doing this. Uh, I'll show you what this can actually do. So what you need to do is get a, a, a piece of paper and make a little loop like that. And we're going to isolate a section of it. Like that. Or oh, like that even. and then open it up and I've already put like a, a little line if you can see there now if I were going to cut this which I'm not uh, you would go and, and you'd snip it as you can see and you do that several times along the you know just isolating a certain area until you get to the stage where you've cut off several sections like that so that's how that's done now once you've uh, created these really they're actually just big gaps the, the outstanding areas what you can do to make it even more spriggy is literally uh, just cut straight into it like that and you can get even more of a gap in those gaps that you've created and that is how I've been able to create this particular type of brush and I have used it and it's um, a, a really good tool for all sorts of uh, like grass and things like that now let me just show you what it does and then we'll wrap up the video Obviously I'm not going to encourage you to be um see if I can get that placed somewhere at cutting up your best brushes. The brush I'm using here, right, is um it 
it's a cheap one with uh, that came with a set that didn't cost hardly any practice with those ones and then when you get a bit more comfortable about doing this then do it to one that you would probably I'm going to use this anyway regardless of how cheap it is because it's an effects brush and I'm not using it all the time so just get some a cheap one and have a go at that so I'm going to what I'm going to do first is really heavily wet the um, the bottom of the, the entire uh, brush uh, including right back to the very back of the the brush and then I'm going to put a different colour on the very very edges of it that's I'm going to See if I can uh, get something completely different on the edges. Right, and let's just have a look, see what we can do. Now I'm more than sure there's lots of different applications for this. Uh, I was thinking about doing this with uh, with it and just just twirling it like that. And that could be the mass for a a tree. Just uh, getting some more like that. You know when you've got lots of branches that you have to paint and just twirling it a little bit and then bringing it bringing it to an end like that or you've got grass that you could just go so it, it has got lots of different applications of any rake on the end of it it makes a, a quick job out of something that could be a long long you know I mean you could literally be going nah, 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 like that but no that this will do it really really fast for you and I know I'm making a bit of a mess here, but uh, just for demo purposes, that's what you can use the brush for. And like I said, you can use it for a lot of other things. So that's been my quick tip for making this brush that I probably wouldn't have used anyway into something that is usable within my uh, toolkit. So thanks for now. We'll see you later on another video. Bye.